Hey digital fam, my name is John D. Saunders and in today's digital block we talk how to target your email list via Facebook and an awesome way to use that list to expand your customer base. Facebook is an amazing ad platform, right? Besides being a safe haven for cat videos and connecting with friends and family, it's a powerful marketing tool you can use to make your hyper-targeted ads for a fraction of what you would pay on AdWords. Don't believe me? Well, I just created an ad that targets males in Miami that own a home, make six figures, and enjoy cycling. Yes, Facebook is that detailed. So in today's digital block, I wanted to discuss how to take your email list all you need is about 20 emails, and target those identical people using Facebook's custom audience feature. Then, I'll show you how to expand that list to reach new people who are likely to be interested in your content because they're similar to those on your email list. All right, let's get it going. Custom audience lets you target individuals on Facebook using their email addresses or phone numbers. Facebook takes that list and cross-references it with those individuals with their Facebook IDs. You won't have specifics, but you will be able to target those individuals via Facebook ads. Okay, let's get it going. First, visit your Facebook page. Once you're logged in, go to the ads manager on the left-hand side. Once you're there, there should be an area at the top that says tools. Hit the drop-down and hit audiences. Once you do that, it'll show you a list of any audiences you've created. For us, we're gonna to go to create audience, custom audience. Also, you can see the list, type, and availability of your current audiences here. When you're done, hit Create Audience, Custom Audience. Now we're going to choose ours from a customer list. You can also choose individuals visiting your website as well as app. Go ahead and choose Customer List. There are three ways you can get your list into Facebook's algorithm. The first one is to upload a file. That's what we'll do. You can also copy and paste your custom list or import it directly from MailChimp, which is an email platform. Let's hit upload a file. Now your file has to be in either TXT or CSV. Once you're done with that, hit data type and we're going to choose emails. Now before you upload your file, make sure you take a look at it. It should follow this format. There should be no headers, no other information, just the email addresses and list format. When you're done, hit File, Download as, a CSV. Then, back in Ad Manager, upload your file, choose your CSV, and then hit Create Audience. Next, you're going to want to title it. I'm going to do 54 Digital Official List. Then, hit Next. Once you do that, hit Done. Okay, so I had 150 names on my list. As you can see, Facebook converted 80 of them. So it converted around half. Okay, now that you have your custom audience, you can target these individuals via Facebook ads. Let's create an example. From the audiences area, hit create ad in the top right hand corner. Now in order to create ads, you have to have all of your credit card information set up prior. So let's start by boosting an existing post. Boosting a post just means that you're promoting it to your entire Facebook fan group on your page as well as their friends. So let's hit boost your post. I'm going to choose 54 Digital as the page. Our last post was about winning an iPhone lens kit. We're actually doing a giveaway. You can check that out in the upper right hand corner right now if you'd like to enter. But back to the ads, go ahead and title your ad and hit set audience and budget. Now that we're here, we can define our audience. So when you choose a custom audience, just click here and a list will pop up of your custom audience members. Now the one we just created has 80 people. So if we click that, we can specifically target those 80 people on Facebook with our ad. So now let's scroll down. We already have our customer list. Set our budget. You can set your post engagement. Then choose ad creative. Once there, we'll choose the ad that'll show up on Facebook. We can choose either desktop, mobile, Instagram, or desktop right column. Now, in this area, once we finish this and push place order, 
these ads will be served up to those people in our email list. Now here's the problem with custom audiences. To really make an impact, you need to have a solid list. You want at least 5,000 emails to really see engagement results. Why? Because Facebook usually converts around 50% of your list. So what's the workaround? Another pivotal tool from Facebook is called a lookalike audience. So based on your existing custom audience that we created or Facebook page, a lookalike audience will look for similarities of individuals. Then it creates a much larger, more robust list of individuals you can target with your Facebook ads. We had a list that went from 150 people to 900,000 potential individuals. This is how you can do it. Just go to the same area, tools, and then audiences. Now, instead of hitting custom audience under create audience, you're going to hit lookalike audience. Now keep in mind, you need at least 100 converted individuals to do a lookalike audience. Anything under in Facebook will give you an error. So for my audience, I'm going to choose a company that has more than 100 converted names. Country, United States. Then my audience size is going to be 1.9 million. You can increase that. I like to keep it small because then it's more defined. And then the number can get even smaller depending on cities, zip codes, and more attributes that you choose in your Facebook ads. Once you're done with that and everything's filled out, hit confirm. Once that's done, it'll make a list for you that says lookalike audience. Now this takes between four to about 16 hours to complete, but once it's done, all you have to do is choose it in your Facebook ads to target these individuals. So with custom and lookalike audiences, you can really create some amazing targeted ad content. For example, we created a promotion for a cycling team. We took their email list, scrubbed it against Facebook, and targeted those individuals leading up to events with action shots and calls to action to entice them to RSVP. Then, with a lookalike audience, we created ad content to entice people, like our existing list, and got them to sign up. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks again for watching the Digital Block. I'll see you guys later. Peace.